हाउ टू फिक्स विंडोज अपडेट एरर जीरो एक्स एट डबल जीरो सेवन जीरो थ्री जीरो टू हेलो फ्रेंड्स फॉलो द स्टेप्स स्टेप वन इंस्टॉल द अपडेट फ्रॉम माइक्रोसॉफ्ट अपडेट कैटेलॉग दिस इज एन अल्टरनेटिव मेथड टू इंस्टॉल द अपडेट ओपन ब्राउजर टाइप माइक्रोसॉफ्ट अपडेट कैटेलॉग प्रेस इंटो क्लिक ऑन द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट अपडेट कैटेलॉग लिंक हेयर इज ए सर्च बॉक्स वी विल यूज द सर्च बॉक्स टू फाइंड द अपडेट क्लिक ऑन द विंडोज आईकॉन लोकेटेड ऑन द टास्क वर्क सिलेक्ट सेटिंग्स गो टू विंडोज अपडेट फाइंड द अपडेट नंबर हेयर यू विल फाइंड द अपडेट नंबर स्टार्टिंग विथ के बी के बी एंड सम नंबर टाइप द अपडेट नंबर हेयर इन द सर्च बॉक्स एंड क्लिक ऑन सर्च डाउनलोड द करेक्ट फाइल फ्रॉम द रिजल्ट एंड इंस्टॉल If the error still persists, modify services. Click on search. Type services. Click on services. Find Windows update in the list. This is alphabetically arranged, so you will have to go down. This one is Windows update. Right click on this service. Select properties. Make sure that startup type of Windows Update service is automatic. If it is not automatic on your computer, click on the drop down and select automatic. The service status should be running here. If the service status is showing stopped, then start will be highlighted here. Then click on the start button. On my computer, everything is fine, automatic and running. Click on apply. Click on OK. Now right click on Windows Update. and select restart look for the background intelligent transfer service this one is background intelligent transfer service right click on this service select properties here also startup type should be automatic click on the drop down and select automatic the service status is showing stop so we will click on start here click on apply click on okay right click on this service select restart now come to the cryptographic services this one right click on this service select properties the startup type is automatic here so nothing is needed service status is running if it is not running on your computer click on start click on okay right click on the service select restart close the services go to the windows update settings and click on check for updates if the update is downloaded restart your computer to complete the installation the next step is reset windows update cache click on search type cmd right click on command prompt select run as administrator run these commands to reset windows update cache you will need to run these commands separately all these commands are given in the description of this video copy the first line paste into the command prompt only right click on the command prompt will paste the command press enter copy the second line of command paste into the command prompt press enter in the same way run all these commands then close the running tasks and then restart your computer 
after restarting again check for updates the next step is run system files checker and dism tools again open command prompt click on search type cmd select run as administrator run sfc command press enter this will take some time wait patiently until it is 100% completed this will show 100% after completion windows resource protection did not find any integrative violations now run these three commands these are dism tools copy the first line paste into the command prompt press enter Copy the second line, paste into the command prompt, press enter. Copy the third and last line, paste into the command prompt, press enter. Once completed, close the command prompt, close the other running files and restart your computer click on start click on the power icon and select restart after restarting try to install the update again click on start click on settings go to windows update and click on check for updates once the update is downloaded restart your computer the next step is uninstall third party antivirus or program if installed. Click on the Windows icon, select Settings, click on Apps, then Installed Apps. Find if any third party antivirus is installed and uninstall it. I have not installed any third party antivirus but I am showing you an example here. Suppose this is third party antivirus. Click on three dots. Select uninstall. On the confirmation pop-up again click on uninstall. If any uninstallation wizard appears follow the on-screen instructions. Restart your computer and try to install the update. If the update is not installing again, then there might be lack of disk space on your computer. Click on File Explorer. Click on this PC from the navigation pane. And check in the C drive where the Windows is installed if enough space is available. You can check the volume of update from Windows Update section. Here uh, you can see the volume of update. If uh, enough space is not available here, you can delete uh, unnecessary files or unnecessary applications for this. Right click on start, select installed apps and uninstall the app less important for you. We have already discussed how to uninstall an app. Click on three dots, click on uninstall. On confirmation pop up, click on uninstall. You can also run disk cleanup to delete unnecessary files. Click on search, type disk cleanup, click on disk cleanup. Here choose C drive or the drive where Windows is installed. Click on OK. Click on cleanup system files. Again choose the drive. Make sure that all the boxes here are checked. Click on OK. Click on Delete Files. Now try to install the update. Use In Place Upgrade. Open a browser. 
click on the address bar and type windows 11 download press enter click on the download windows 11 link go down to download windows 11 disk image iso for x64 devices click on this drop down and select windows 11 multi edition iso for x64 devices click on download now here choose one here is the list of uh, languages check the language of your windows in correct language may mess up the installation click on start select settings select time and language click on language and region english united states click on choose one select english united states click on confirm now click on 64 bit download go to the download location usually it is downloads folder click on file explorer go to downloads folder right click on the downloaded iso file select mount click on open right click on the setup.exe file select open click on run click on next on the applicable notices and license terms click on accept this may take a few minutes checking for updates simply click on install and this will install windows 11 latest version and the error will be fixed that's all friends thanks for watching the video